одна из самых ярых участниц создания концепции русского мира, доверенное лицо Путина на выборах 2012 года, привыкшая комфортно себя чувствовать в срежиссированных эфирах федеральных телеканалов, на сей раз почувствовала себя в роли добычи. 67-летняя бывшая депутатка Госдумы согласилась на откровенный разговор с 36-летним британским журналистом Мехди Асаном. Такого позора Нарочницкая и вся кремлевская братья давно не испытывала. The constitution was dismissed. Even uh, the mandate of uh, president uh, went to the speaker of parliament whether under constitution it should go to the prime minister. The constitutional court was dismissed. Let's assume there was a coup d'etat. There's a division of opinion on that, of course, whether it was a coup or not. Crimea was taken by the Russians, annexed in violation of international law, most Crimea, lawyers would argue. Crimea, Crimea has UN a referendum. General Assembly. And, uh, Why do you think 100 countries at the UN condemned the annexation of Crimea? 100. Only 11 countries voted with Russia. Why do you think that is? Because it's politics. A politics, politics 10 to 1. The, the politics in the 21st century. The politics in the 21st century. It's not century. because the, the United Nations recognizes national borders and sovereignty and says you can't just change the borders of a country. You talked about well, common the borders. The international law, let me, let me just finish. Okay. The international law teaches now that self-determination right Uh, is observed, but the principle of territorial uh, integrity prevails, that's true, only but in a case when self-determination rights are combined with so-called, it's in the test books of international law, when the people maintain uh, historical, linguistic, cultural and other types of um, so on that basis, connection, Crimea can connection be uh, with the maternal Order. state. So you support the idea that Crimea, on this your reading of international law, Crimea had the right to leave Ukraine and be part of Russia on the basis of self-determination? I think so. Okay, so when will Russia be holding a referendum in Chechnya and in Dagestan for those places to go independent? <laughs> Let them do it. You're in support of that? You're happy for Chechnya to leave the Russian Federation and become independent or join another country? They don't Seriously. want it. They don't want it. But if they did, you're totally, you support Chechen independence under a referendum in which the Chechens that voted yes. It depends always on how the people's will is expressed. If it's expressed by the bandits and gangsters and criminals... Because there were no courts, bandits or gangsters in Crimea, were there? There were no, no men in masks. No. But you just imagine those people But if there screens. are teachers, students, wow. engineers, doctors voting calmly on their... Uh, expressing their free will, it's different. So don't make... Chechnya doesn't want to leave uh, yeah. Russia. They uh, now well, are after flourishing you bombed them more for several years and others. killed hundreds of thousands of people, I guess not. When Crimea was annexed by Russia, you said that for the first time in 20 years of political life, you felt happy. The West had pushed Russia into a corner, you said, and finally Russia has shown its red line. I'm just wondering, is the red line now fixed in place or is it going to move geographically into other areas, no. perhaps in the region? That's it? Or are we going to see some more redrawing of borders in that area? Russia has proven through 25 years that it is ready and uh, absolutely tolerating Ukraine's, you know, floating this and that, et cetera, under only one condition uh, that was shown and was obvious, condition? that Ukraine doesn't enter NATO. Ukraine didn't enter NATO. Even in September, before the Maidan started, Russia has no idea of what uh, then happened, etc., and had Ukraine no plans. Did not enter, plans. Ukraine did not enter NATO. It's the West who refused, uh, who wanted to uh, create from Ukraine a battlefield between East and West, and it's Americans. You That don't want Ukraine Russia to join NATO. in cooperation NATO. with Ukraine is still a, a, a superpower, but, but without you, Ukraine, with I, Ukraine as enemy is no more su can superpower. Can I give some friendly advice to the mm -hmm. Russian government via you. If you don't want your neighbor to join a military alliance, best not to invade and occupy part of that country. Because the first thing they want to do is join Very a military good. alliance. Very good. Why are you so on the side of NATO on the I'm American on the side of NATO. Yes, of course you Maybe are. you should watch the show I did with the former head of NATO I where know. I put all these arguments I know. to. In eastern Ukraine, are there Russian forces in eastern Ukraine? 
not Russian forces. <laughs> Separate Russians, uh, Russians, yes, but not Russian forces. So it's when, a different legally at all. So when a Russian... So do you mean there are, you know, squads on parts of the yes, army with yes, tanks crossing? Exactly what I'm no. Okay, so no. when a Russian special forces soldier, Dmitry Shapnikov, tells the BBC that he and his fellow troops were in Ukraine, when captured soldier in Ukraine, Alexander Anatolyevich, identifies himself as a Russian ser serviceman in the Russian armed forces, what were they doing there? Sightseeing? Taking a tour? It is denied. It is denied by? By officials. Do you agree with them? I quite agree, but I believe that there are some Russian soldiers, of course, and officers. I don't deny that. But legally, every country, when it's helping uh, the situation according to the interest and according to the appeal, they do it legally correct. But it's not illegal for Russian soldiers to be in Ukraine under any reading of international law. Was it legal for American specialists in all places where they have been? Was it legal for Americans to be in Iraq? Mm. No. Mm. Okay, Good. back to the question. Was it illegal? Is it legal for Russian forces to be in Ukraine? Mm -hmm. There are no forces.